Okay, so let's set up our feet on the foot plate of our rowing machines. So the key point is to make sure that our feet aren't too high or too low, and so that it's comfortable for us to push when we're on the rowing machine itself. Something like this, for me, would be much too low. The um, strap would go across my toes, um, and my, the ball of my foot is really low on the foot plate, meaning that I wouldn't be able to push effectively. In contrast, if I set my feet as, as high as this, the strap would go almost across the middle of my foot here, making it really, really difficult to get my heel off and then to push down as well. It doesn't feel very stable. So what I need is something in the middle of those two things. And I think for me today, something like a, a three for me would be quite good. And that's going to vary depending on what size shoes that you have and what size feet you have too. Um, but this feels about right for me today. Um, the ball of my foot is nicely on the foot plate here. My toes aren't protruding over the end. And the strap is somewhere along my midfoot, which means that I can get my heel up and push down. So once I've tightened those up, make sure that my toes aren't coming off, we're ready to row. The next thing is drag factor. Um, the drag factor on rowing machines can vary a little bit, but it's on a sliding scale. Um, on the Concept 2, it's from 1 till 10. Um, so you sometimes see machines all the way down at 1, or sometimes all the way up at 10. Um, and most rows will need to be somewhere in the middle of that um, for your best performance. Drag factor is basically a measure of resistance. And the way that I like to think about it is that, on the Concept 2 anyway, if you have your drag factor all the way down at 1, that's like rowing in the strongest tailwind you'll ever row in. Uh, screaming along, super windy, you're going really, really, really fast and it's really difficult to get the grip. Your catch is going to come through really quickly. In contrast, if you're rowing at a drag factor 10, that would be the heaviest, strongest headwind you've ever rowed in. And you'd put your blade in at the catch and you would just be stuck there. It would be like rowing through glue. And so, Usually when we're training inside, we don't really want either of those things. We want something that mimics water um, as best as possible uh, and is also going to give us a good amount of resistance, but not so much that it's going to cause um, strain or damage to our knees, to our backs and that sort of thing um, that enables us to row with as good a form as possible. So for the Concept 2, and similar to the other rowing machines as well, somewhere in the middle is kind of the Goldilocks zone. Um, for me, I, I usually put it between the 4 and the 5, um, but sort of anywhere between three and six um, is probably about right um, for you. And have a play with it, have a bit of a, an investigate. Um, some people prefer to erg with a slightly higher resistance so they can really feel that they're working against something. And some people prefer to be able to flow in and out a little bit more and have slightly lower resistance. Give it a go.